Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. So about actors, Femi Adebayo, Dunla De Adekola, and many other actors come together to celebrate this comic actor, Son Yeri, as a clock's 46 years old. Or Dunla De Adekola, Femi Adebayo, Shiye Dun, and other Nollywood stars took out time on social media to celebrate this comic actor, Lanya Afoja, who is popularly known as Son Yeri, on his 46th birthday today, which is 14th of October 2020. This movie producer, who is obviously in the mood of celebration, wrote on his Instagram page that God, thank you for your mercy and grace, which I knew every morning since I have been on this planet Earth. Thank you for your hope to see another birthday of mine. Wishing myself a joyous birthday full of God's amazing blessings. By being alive and healthy today is as a result of none other than the Almighty God. I'll forever be grateful to you, God. Happy birthday to me. His colleagues in the movie industry also took to their official social media pages to felicitate with this movie maker. Ronkel du Sonya, Flaky Didowo says, Happy birthday, Sonyeri. Cheers to a greater year and a fulfilling life. Oduna De Adokala says, Happy birthday to my friend, fantastic comedian. Sonyeri, God will bless you more in Jesus' name. Femi Adebayo, happy birthday to my fantastic colleague and friend. Sonyeri, may God complete all that concerns you this new year. She heard the words, happy birthday to a talented actor and comedian, extraordinary Sonyeri. May God bless your new age, sir. Bear the blessings. Adeni Johnson, happy birthday, sir. Adeni Johnson, happy birthday, sir. God bless you and make you bigger. I celebrate you. Bukumi Lewa Shino, happy birthday, sir. Sonyeri, wishing you long life in good health and prosperity. God bless your new age. Happy 46th birthday to this comic Yoruba actor. Lania from just Sonyeri. So what do we know about this celebrant? For those who do not know, Sonyeri was born in Bola area of Oyo town in Oyo state. As a first child of his parents, Olania from just Sonyeri had his former education at St. Michael Primary School, Nokebo, Oyo state and Doba Grammar School, also in Oyo state. When he completed the secondary school education, his acting career started in the year 1992 after joining a theatre group introduced to him by a friend. In 1996, Olanya Afoja relocated to Lagos State to further his career and since then starred in several comic Yoruba movies. And according to this actor, his journey to stardom has not been an easy one. He has had to live a rough life before rewarding opportunities came his way. Olanya Afoja in an interview with Punch News revealed that he found it difficult to make a living after finishing secondary school. Due to this, he resorted to learning how to become a cobbler. His participation in acting in Oyo State did not give him the sort of reward he anticipated. Even after relocating to Lagos, even after relocating to Lagos State, his situation remained the same thing. In his words, the suffering I endured was really extreme. After I finished my secondary school education, I did not have a job, so I delved into the theatre world. I did it for some time, but I was not being paid. Even when I went everywhere with the group and was helping them carry their costume, I had to learn how to repair shoes. So I became a shoe cobbler. Eventually, I left Toyota and came to Lagos to find greener pastures. But still, I was not earning anything from acting. I became a mobile cobbler. I would put my materials in a wooden box, place it on my shoulder, and start hitting it as I walked the length and breadth of Dumota. I would constantly hit my wooden box as I walked about to call the attention of people. Then nobody knew me, so I kept hitting my box all over Dumota. I remember I had a handkerchief. I used to cover my face because of my trouble marks. The reason I concealed my trouble marks was because the Igbo boys at Idumota had the belief that if they did not give their shoes to a Ghanaian cobbler, no one could do a better job. If they saw my trouble marks, they would think I was one of the touts that would normally come to stop them for money to, for their shops. And they would not give me their shoes to repair. When I saw that being a shoe cobbler was affecting my career as an actor, I had to quit and face acting squarely. I thank God that good fortunes have come my way. Well, today, Olayini Afonja Sonyeri has succeeded beyond his imagination. And he has appeared in over 100 movies, many of them as he takes up lead roles in most of them. He started acting by featuring stage plays in his village between 1992 and 1993. He was going to different towns and villages to act. He did that for about three years in Oyo State. Then he had to move to Lagos State in 1996 and he was trained by the late Ulusheyi at Dewey. And he revealed that there is something about acting. You can't start making money immediately you join. You have to suffer and sacrifice some things. 
Even transfer fare might be difficult to come back. Some people might be doing great things and you'll be paying that you can't do it. At times, you might even begin to wonder if you did have been on their level if you're not acting. But once you're focused and determined, you'll eventually get there. And he confessed that personally he had passion for acting and that did not make him give up when it was hard. He also came to Lagos State with his friend at the quality journey. They came from their village together to Lagos State to find greener pastures. What else do we know about Olani Afanja Sanyari? The first time he had a financial breakthrough, that was when he featured in his first commercial advert for Global Cup. He was scouted by an advertisement agency. He wasn't really known at that time, so he was surprised and shrewd when he was called. They shot the advertisement at TBS in Lagos State, which was in 2009. He can't even remember the amount he was paid there. You know at that time, he couldn't dictate for them, so he had to work with their budget. But today, if an agency should call on Sonyeri that they want to shoot any advert, they will have to discuss the pay and you only do it if the money is acceptable by him. Also, this actor read in an interview that he still has plans to go back to school. And he also had a teacher that teaches him on how to speak English, revealing that his educational background was actually an hindrance to him. That is why he tells students to be focused and make sure they excel. Education is something you have that no one can take away from you. No matter how successful you are, education will make it better. As much as people accept him and his brand, he believes that the name would have been bigger than this if he were educated. He would have preferred to go to the University of Ibadan because that's his state. Apart from being a comic actor, he's also a movie producer. He has produced some movies since 2004. That's when he started producing. The first movie he produced was Okwene. And all the movies he has produced since then are I Know Russo, Opako, Okola, America, Orolon, Adaba, Ashiwaju, Atiba, Chawuru, and so many others. And on his Shaba Max, he had this to say I started appreciating my Shaba Max when I became an actor. I know that due to my Shaba Max, I may not be able to take up some roles, especially lover boy and romantic roles, much less compete with the other good looking actors in the industry. But you know, God works in mysterious ways. My trauma marks have brought many comic books my way and that has automatically given me an edge as an actor. And that is why you won't see me acting romantic roles. Even as a child, people used to make jest of me and I used to feel bad, especially as I'm the only one with trauma marks among my siblings. I was never angry with my parents though for giving me this trauma marks. Right now, no one can mock me again because I'm now more comfortable with them and I have made a fortune with them, he said. Once again, we're saying happy birthday to Sonyeri and we have come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it and let's understand new things, subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.